if you want to evaluate a piecewise function, the notation can look a little overwhelming, but essentially what we have here is three separate equations. We know that f of x means y, so one of the equations is y equals 1 half x plus 1. A second equation is y equals negative the quantity x plus 1 squared. And the third equation is y equals 7. You don't use all of the equations at the same time. You have to decide which equation to use based on the size of the x they give you. So if they give you an x value that is less than or equal to negative two, you're gonna use the top equation. If they give you an x that is bigger than negative two up to one including one, we're gonna use the middle equation. And if the x they give you is larger than one, then the answer is simply seven. All right, so here when I find f of negative four, the number negative four is less than or equal to negative two. So that tells me I wanna use the top equation. So if I use that top equation, one half x plus one, making room there to substitute in negative four, <clears throat> I plug in negative four. Oops, I plug in negative four, one second, sorry. There we go, negative four. And then once I've done that, then multiply. When you multiply a fraction times a number, you're really dividing by the bottom and multiplying by the top. So negative four divided by two is negative two times one is negative two. So I have negative two plus one, and then negative two plus one is negative one. Okay, now in this one, I have one, and so the number one, one is less than or equal to one, so the equation that I'm going to use is going to be the middle one. I'm going to substitute in 1 for the x value right there. And then do what's inside parentheses first. 1 plus 1 is 2. Now be careful because this out front is a negative 1 multiplied by 2 squared. And we want to do exponents before multiplication. So negative two squared is replaced with um, is replaced with four. I've just emphasized here that the negative out front really means a negative one. And then negative one multiplied by four is negative four. Okay, then this last one, f of three, the number three is bigger than one. So we wanna use the bottom mm -hmm. equation but no matter what number I substitute into the bottom equation, the answer is seven. So this one is seven. Okay, so then let's do one more here. Okay, this time I have a function called h of x, so that's like my y, and I have y equals the top equation, and I have y equals four. So we're gonna decide which equation to use based on the size of the x. This is saying that we wanna use the top equation as long as the number they give us is not the number three. And we're gonna use the bottom equation if the number they give us is the number three. So evaluating h of three, three equals three, so that one tells us to use the bottom equation, and when you use the bottom equation, no matter what you plug into it, you get four, so the answer is four. Now h of eight, the number eight does not equal three, so if eight does not equal three, then we're using the top equation. So let's substitute eight into this equation. Multiplying by one half is like dividing by two and multiplying by one. So eight divided by two is four and four times one is four. And then four minus two is two and we have our solution. Okay, and then this one, negative six. Again, we decide which equation to use based on the size of the x value. So negative six is not the number three, but negative six does not equal three. So since it makes this top one true, we're gonna use that top equation. I'm 
I'm gonna substitute in negative six. And when I replace that with negative six, negative six divided by two is negative three. Negative three times one is negative three. So we have negative three minus two and negative three minus two is negative five. 